my god okay um i didn't expect that video to like pop off <laughs> the way it did um a thousand views and like 76 likes it may not seem like a lot but i don't know a thousand people let alone 76 people so i mean that really puts it into perspective so before we like get into it i guess i should explain why it took so long to have this video come out my last video came out three months ago i believe i don't know it'll be on screen and like partially i didn't like upload a new one or even get to like working on a new one was a little bit of laziness i'm not gonna lie but like most of it was because i was like dealing with exams and tests and like finishing uh school up i'm also like right in the middle of graduation and i had like a lot of late work i needed to turn in like i'm not gonna lie like i had i had a lot of stuff to do but now that everything has calmed down and everything is like chill now i finally have time to sit down and draw for like two hours and then record for like another i don't know another hour or so and then edit for like two days <laughs> so now that that little explanation is over i recently went back to watch my video because it's been a long time and uh i don't want to say it's a great video <laughs> it kind of sucked low-key planning on not remaking it but like re working what i said in that video i guess like making it more comprehensive the design i still like the design in that video like nothing about that is really gonna change i'm not gonna redesign my redesign <laughs> so for my second video i'm gonna be a little bit meaner and for that remake video i definitely am gonna be a little bit meaner as well not like so mean like i'm not gonna insult people <laughs> okay it's a product people are like paying for it like it's free obviously but like first of all there are like books like actual physical copies of the book that people can pay for so if like once money starts getting involved i feel like it's kind of fair game to like criticize it like if it was for free like i wouldn't be uh being insulting it in the way that i am going to or might i don't know i don't know how mean i'm gonna be but you know criticism is something that like all artists are gonna have to face whether you want it to or not and like i'm a big believer in like let people do what makes them happy and let people do whatever they want as long as they're not like hurting anybody um and that's what i'm doing <laughs> people can enjoy the things that they enjoy and then people can diss on that same thing and then they live in two completely different spaces of the internet you know so i'm just gonna say it right now if you like laurel and Biss and it's like super like near and dear to your heart like it's like one of the your comfort things do not watch this video do not watch my future videos um i would click off for real because um because it's better for you to just enjoy your space on the internet than to like interact with me you know i don't I don't want to ruin people's like comfort comics or anything like that. Um, I'll go. Mo I'm gonna go more into depth in like my opinions on Lord Olympus and like what I like about it, what I don't like about it in my remake video. So we're just gonna get into it. Um, from here on out, I'm gonna be really annoying. Like in this video, I'm gonna be pretty annoying. Um, in the next one, and I'm gonna be annoying. It's just gonna get worse from here. So <laughs> if you don't like this new vibe, I guess, then I am so sorry to my 28 subscribers y'all are awesome please stay don't go so like i said in my first video my second favorite character in laurel olympus is demeter who is what well, who we're gonna be redesigning today is most of it out of spite yeah a little but also i like her character in greek mythology it's weird to say like a goddess has like a character but like everybody has a character you know um she's not my favorite god in like greek mythology or anything but like she's cool i liked learning about her i like reading on her in the original Hades and Persephone myth, Demeter was framed as a mother caring for her child and wanting her daughter back after she was kidnapped. She was kidnapped and she just wanted to do whatever she could to get her daughter back after she was stolen because of a marriage being made without her knowledge, right? And I mentioned this in my original video that like anything, like any media having to do with like Greek mythology or like incorporating Greek mythology and more specifically the Hades and Persephone myth, frame Demeter as like your typical hating, bitter mother-in-law type uh, archetype. And that is so annoying to me because I don't know where everyone got that from the original like source material. 
Like, I get you want Hades and Persephone to be in love, but what I find is like consistent with these things is that Demeter is always portrayed as a villain or a bad guy or a helicopter mom, a jealous mother. Like, what? I don't. Where did you get this from? How did you manage to like mangle a mother being worried? and depressed that her daughter was like literally stripped away from her and make it to like where she's the bad guy when the dude who took her and then the dude who agreed to have her taken are right there and i mentioned that like in my little like subtitle thing like in the original video that i think that's like kind of due to misogyny and i'm not gonna like get on like a soapbox and like preach about misogyny but i think that is a little bit of misogyny when you blame the woman who did nothing wrong who wants her daughter to be safe and with her because persephone didn't want to be there she was kidnapped but you managed to make her the bad guy when the two men responsible are right there which yeah zeus is like basically made like explicitly the bad guy in the original myth um but hades still kidnapped her <laughs> um and even like in the original myth demeter wasn't the bad guy she was a victim as well as Persephone, but it's modern like retellings and modern stories that involve Greek mythology that paint her as a bad guy. And that just makes no sense to me. In Lore Olympus, Demeter has like one of the most complex characterizations while still falling flat due to the writing. They frame her as an evil, abusive, overprotective mother when 98% of the time, she's right in every like argument she has with Persephone. Demeter is right to be worried about her daughter. Demeter is right to prote be protective of her. Not like overly protective like she is in the comic, but she has a right to worry about her because we see how the gods in the comic act. Not even like having to do with Greek mythology, just like in the comic. All the dudes in Grin or Olympus suck. Like, every single one of them, including Hades, which I have a bone to pick with him, but we'll get to that when we have his video. There's just no nuance with Demeter's character. Why can't she be a good, loving mother while also being a little overprotective? Maybe she's a little stricter on Persephone, and that's like the gripe that Persephone has with her. But in the end, she still loves her mother. She still wants to be with her mother but she's in love with Hades and Demeter and Hades hate each other. They don't get along. You can keep that backstory of Hades majorly screwing over Demeter like twice because um, Hades does, suggested to Zeus that Demeter wouldn't make a good queen of the gods. He also like vetoed her being like the queen of the human realm or whatever. Like you can still have that backstory and then also have uh, Persephone falling in love with Hades and then having this dilemma of, I love Hades, I wanna be with him, but I love my mother and she hates him. Like I get, you want drama. You want everything to be dramatic. What's more dramatic than a awful mother, right? I also forgot to mention that Persephone is 19 when the story starts. She is still a teenager. She is still a really young. She's still working everything out. She's still trying to like find out who she is and it's so weird that she gets with basically a 40 year old man like how i don't demeter has a right not to like the relationship between hades and persephone right first of all she hates hades number one she hates him she uh has a grudge against him because of the things that he did to her because he was an asshole and then furthermore she doesn't like that he's a 40 year old man going after her 19 year old daughter and that's okay if i were to rewrite the story i would make it that persephone is in love with hades you know she she wants to be with him but she also is dealing with the fact that her mother doesn't approve of the relationship her mother thinks that hades is an awful person and that he sucks and that he won't treat her right but regardless of that demeter is still willing to push her feelings for the marriage down in order to have a relationship with persephone she's cordial with hades she doesn't wish to have a good relationship with him she just is going to be cordial for the sake of her daughter because she wants to be in her daughter's life and she loves her daughter and she's willing to put up with seeing hades 
every once in a while just so she can be with her daughter. Furthermore, in this, <laughs> furthermore, I am not writing an English essay, but furthermore, Persephone will not be 19 years old. In my version, she's like 100, 200, you know? And like physically, she's like in her early 30s. I also will have it that Persephone chooses to spend half of the year in the underworld and half of the year with her mother, because that seems like the most easiest solution. Even though in Lower Olympus, you can just like hop back and forth from the underworld to Olympus, but like in my version, it wouldn't be, it, you're not, it's not easy. It's not gonna be that easy because then there are no stakes and then, it, then it's just boring. So Persephone chooses to like, she like draws up like a contract or whatever. Um, and like it, it's, uh, she like presents it in front of Zeus and she says, I wanna spend half of the year with my mother and half of the year with Hades. And then while Persephone is gone, Demeter makes everything die basically. I have a lot of ideas for this like rewrite, but I'll save it for my remake video, which I think is gonna be a really long video. So hopefully y'all stay for that because it's gonna be a monster of a video the way I'm envisioning it. But let's, let's just get into the redesign because I've been talking for a long time. So Demeter's original design is okay. There's nothing really wrong with it. The only thing that I really like about it is that she has a different hair color and skin color so she doesn't suffer from like the perpetual weirdness of all the rest of the characters. I just think it's weird that they all have the same like hair color and skin color. It just looks weird, okay? So she doesn't have that, which is nice. However, I don't know where the purple came from. I guess it's just because it would look good with the green but there are a lot of other colors you could have used like i would say like you could have made her blonde and that way she would kind of look like the rest of her sisters as well and also wheat you know so demeter is the goddess of agriculture and the harvest and like a bunch of other stuff but like those are her main two so i decided to go for a warm color palette with her like oranges and yellows and stuff like that just because when I think of like harvest, I think of fall. Fall has a lot of really warm colors. And I just wanted her to look very warm and inviting, very motherly <laughs> because she is Persephone's mother. And in my version, they have a very close relationship. So I wanted her to have that very comforting feel to her, I guess. So I gave her the same warm green color as Persephone's. I just darkened it a little bit just so there would be some difference between the two because yeah they're mother and daughter but they can they can be a little different. That gets me into the genetics talk of all of this. In my version genetics would be pretty random. I mean they're gods it doesn't have to be like exact you know. Kids can come out looking like one of their parents like the other parent like both of their parents or they can come out looking completely different than their parents, you know, just like random. That way it like, I can have more fun with the designs. Sometimes the vision I have just doesn't match like how genetics would actually work. You know, it's just more fun that way. And like I said, they're gods, so like it doesn't really matter. The biggest change I made to her was that I gave her brown hair instead of that purple. I thought about making her blonde or something, but I just, me personally, I couldn't make it work. I've seen other artists on Instagram that have redesigned Demeter and made her blonde make it look really good. For me, I just couldn't make it work and I didn't want to give her red or anything like that because I already had like a design in mind for another character for red hair and I just didn't want to like do, do a double, you know? Purple was a no-go because then I wouldn't have changed anything, it would just literally just been Demeter. Blue wouldn't have made any sense. Neither would have orange or anything like that. So I decided to give her brown hair. It paired really well with the green and it just looked nice. And I wanted to give her brown hair just to like, you know, for dirt, like I mentioned why I gave Persephone brown eyes in my last video. I just wanted some type of like soil motif. Um, I also, I modeled her face after Viola Davis. Why? Just like in my life, I don't know she's just like the actress that came to mind from her like face shape i didn't copy it very well okay i'm never gonna copy real life people very well in my style but she was my inspiration behind like her face and everything like that just when i envisioned demeter like being in like latin live action show or whatever i i pictured viola davis so i used her face as like template i guess for her specific hairstyle I don't know what this hairstyle is called, so like please like comment it down below. I just looked up like semi braids in Google 
and it came up so i'll try to like pick pictures of the reference i used but it's just like uh braids like at the scalp and then it's natural hair for the rest of it i don't know how well i'm explaining this i don't know what the hairstyle is called but you know i wanted to give her that type of hairstyle because i wanted to give her a bun but i wanted it to be natural hair and not like braid it's, i wanted to give her braided hair but i also wanted to give her natural hair does that make sense so i just like smashed the two together i don't know what the hairstyle is called comment it down below her eyes gave me problems because i didn't know what eye color to give her i just went with yellow for wheat that was like my original idea anyway but then i made like her uh, chitin is that what it's called anyway i made her chitin yellow and then i realized that if i made her eyes yellow she would have like way too much yellow and then on top of that the accessories i gave her are gold so she's just like covered in yellow um they're different shades of yellow so i don't know how i just thought that they would all like mix well together like green and yellow are like the top two colors that like go together when it comes to like using green in anything so i just made them a really pale yellow because wheat and grass and all that um i gave her gold leaves like in her hair and like resting on her ear i didn't she didn't have those originally but her head looked kind of plain with the everything else in the drawing so i just decided to like i just looked up like demeter you know in google and saw that there was some people who put leaves in her hair so i just like you know what, i'm gonna do that too i also kept her wheat earrings they're really cute and they give her a lot of character i just feel like you could do something really cool with the earrings like she's always wearing them maybe persephone like thinks about her mother and things about she's always wearing the earrings i don't know I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be cute, especially considering I think Persephone wears like those same earrings when she's like banished in the mortal realm and stuff. So there's symbolism there. Even though she's a goddess and like she doesn't age, I made her look older or I tried to make her look older. Like I wanted her to be like in her early, f no, not older, like mid forties, early fifties, maybe. Maybe she's like one of the only goddesses that like made her physical appearance look older i just i wanted there to be some everybody else is like so young you know i just wanted there to be like some older people in the in the cast you know as for her chitin i looked up some like ideas on google and this painting came up and i thought that would be perfect for demeter just because in the comic everyone kind of wears the same style of clothing like they all wear the same type of chitin and it all looks the same. I don't know if that's historically accurate or not. I did do research, but I didn't do like that amount of research. If y'all are very like into Greek culture and Greek history, let me know. But I just thought that not everyone would dress the exact same. And I thought that Demeter would be more reserved. So I gave her the chitin that like covered her shoulders and everything. And I also really liked like the I don't know what those are called, like straps, I guess, that like wrapped around her shoulders and um, under her bust area and stuff like that. Plus, it just gave it more detail. It made it look more interesting because the Greek clothing in Laura Blimpus is just like pretty basic. Like, it's just like a white dress. Sometimes they look like slips and that's really annoying. Like, that's just lazy. I wanted to do something interesting with her pose, so I just made her kind of pose like Persephone with a hand on her waist, just so they have that like similarity because, you know, they're mother and daughter. They kind of act the same in a way, so I wanted to just connect them in that way. And then I gave her a cornucopia because I didn't know what to do with her other hand and I wanted her to hold wheat, but I hate drawing wheat because I don't know how to draw it. So I just gave her a cornucopia instead and put like a corn, an orange, squash, and an apple in it. It ended up looking better than I thought it would. I used a cartoon reference, so, you know. Turned out better than I thought it did, especially the fruit. I made her strapped ribbon things orange because I didn't want to make them like the same color. I didn't want to make them red and I didn't want to make them any other color. I didn't want to make them yellow either because obviously her chitin's already yellow, but I did want to make it complimentary and I didn't want it to have be a warm color so I made it orange and it looks really good I had to fiddle with it a little bit to get like the proper orange but I like it I like how it looks 
I like her overall design. I think she looks nice. I also, <laughs> she's also strapped with two like little scythe. I don't know. I think there could be like a fun scene where Demeter like threatens Hades with the scythe or whatever. I just think she just needed something more. Um, and she's always working, you know, it's just like Persephone. I didn't. I thought of how she's always working and she's always like doing things. In the actual comic, Persephone mentions how she likes to do everything by hand for whatever reason, like because humans fascinate her or something like that. I don't really remember the reason why, but I think I would keep that in my version that she just likes to do everything by hand. And Demeter, on the other hand, likes to do everything with her powers just because it's more efficient and she just thinks more logically that it's easier to do it with her powers. Maybe every once in a while, she, like to bond with Persephone or just cause she like plants stuff by hand and she harvests stuff by hand. But for the most part, she uses her powers as opposed to Persephone who decides to do everything by herself. As for her actual character, in mythology, depending on the version that you go by, Demeter is the second oldest, Hestia being the oldest, but however, Hestia doesn't give oldest child energy. She's very chill. She just goes with the flow. She's not like an older sibling type. Demeter being, even though she's the second oldest, she does act as the oldest uh, sibling being more strict and bossy, I guess. Maybe in a flashback, you could show her like bossing Hera or Zeus or Hades or whoever around. Show that she's always been like super maternal and very in charge. I can't imagine her always being busy. She's one of those people that like can't sit still. She has to be doing something efficient. Maybe she has like the mindset of if you're not working, you're just being lazy, which could be a character flaw for her, you know? Well, that's it for her design. Here it is final piece it'll be on my instagram if you want to look at it um i also have a tumblr but i don't know how often i'll be posting on that but if you want like a better resolution image for like whatever reason it might be on my tumblr same name a loser on the internet i won't be linking it though because i barely post on there but it will be on my Instagram, however low the resolution may be. Um, that's it for this video. Don't know how well it would do considering it's been three months. But thanks to all of the people who just subscribed to my channel last time. You're the best. Hopefully you stick around. Um, thank you for everyone who watched my last video. It wasn't good, but it's a start. And I hope you all have a lovely day. That's it.